In a previous video, we've introduced a named range for a certain column in our spreadsheet. But of course, as you remember from one of the previous videos, spreadsheets have a very long lifespan. They can live up to five years. So at one point in our little dance studio, we are going to hire a new teacher. And if we do that, if we would just enter this new teacher into our teacher's worksheet, let's say his name is Harry and he's 25, we enter all his data. Unfortunately, if we then go to our planning worksheets, the formulas will not have been updated. We are still calculating based on the old named range. You see there's no change in the values here. And it's understandable if we go back to the teacher's worksheet and select the named range we, from the drop-down list, you see that the maximum level is not including the last line in our worksheet. So if you want to update a given named range, you can use the name manager, as you see here. So the names are not fixed. You can always update them if your spreadsheet is changing. And now you see if you select max level again, all of the rows are included in the name range and also our formulas are updated. So you can update your name range every time you make a change to the spreadsheet. However, this is dangerous because I'm sure at one point you will forget all about all of the name ranges you have in your worksheet and you'll forget to update one of them if you enter new data. So although it's possible with the name range manager to change your name ranges, this is not a preferred solution. You want to have your spreadsheet as automated as possible. An alternative solution is using an entire column for your name range. You can do that if we go back to the name range manager. You don't need to use a fixed column. You can say all the rows in my column. This is allowed syntax and now you'll see that the whole column is indeed included in the name range. And if you add another teacher now, let's say we add a teacher called Shelly, the formulas will be updated to include this new teacher because of course it's calculating the entire column. So this is a good solution. However, there's also a downside to this solution. Because what happens now if we want to do some analysis on the teacher's worksheet? So let's say we want to calculate something like the most common level we have in our group of teachers. So we say most common level and there's a formula for this in Excel called mode, really nice function that you can use to calculate the most common value in a bunch of cells. So this works, we know now that the most common level in our group of teachers is three. However, because our named range is covering the entire column, this mode will now also be included in our calculation and that's not what we want. So yes, you can use an entire column, however then, oh, all these cells underneath our little data table are not usable anymore. They're sort of blocked because we cannot put calculations in them because the other calculations will use that data as well. So we are stuck here and in the next video I will show you how to solve this problem.